Hey guys, welcome back to the woodshed. Uh, today we're gonna be working on a song called Don't Be Afraid of Love. And I've made a whole video for this with just me singing and playing so you can hear the whole song at once if you want. We're gonna dive right into learning it. Okay, so we're gonna be in the key of C, which we're mostly home base is gonna be right around the fifth fret for this. Um, and this song, it's really fun. When I learned um, an arrangement that is just solo dobro and vocals, I kind of stole the bass line from the recording. So it's a lot of bass line and then singing um, on top of it and then also breaking off to do some lead lines, but the important thing is the rhythm keeps going. So let's learn this bass line that I'm talking about. It's in C. Um, I'll play it for you and then we'll break it down. <laughs> the verse and it's really super fun and easy to play this bass line we're gonna start at the fifth fret on the bottom string on the sixth string and then we're gonna kind of chop so it's muted chop um, I hit with my thumb and then chop at the same time as I'm dropping my hand down so that the heel of my hand is hitting the strings and cutting off that note then when on the next beat you can hear that I'm literally going that way and then brushing up with these two fingers pretty gently. All right, so that's one, two, and. And then we're gonna go down to the second fret, which is an A, and just go second, open, second, open. And then back up to the fifth fret. So here's what that sounds like. That's the first half of this bass line. Super fun to play. So it's five, chuck, chuck, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. It's kind of cowboy sound. <laughs> I could play that all day. So you want to play this with a metronome for sure, just so you can get that groove in there. It almost doesn't matter if you play all the beats, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to have some space in there and just have that beat keep going. That's the magic of it. And you can play it kind of muted if you want to. Just for a little dynamic. Super fun, especially when you're playing underneath a vocal because it gives vo the vocal a lot of space. Um, and the way I play it muted, I just kind of roll my hand off that cover plate there right onto the strings just a little bit and you can play with how much you want to do that. So again, it's five and then the chook chook and then sometimes I start with the open string instead of that A. So it may be zero two zero two zero five one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one all right so that's the first half of the bass line then we kind of switch it up a little bit by uh throwing in this other part all right so you're basically using this little pentatonic uh, minor pentatonic shape at the fifth fret and you're gonna go that should probably be a whole nother video because it's a really good shape to learn for licks and for bass line so you're gonna go on the fourth fret of the fifth string and then open fourth string back to the fifth fret bottom string that home bass C and then we played these already a on the second fret, and then open bottom string. All right, so it's not too hard. Um, fourth fret of the fifth string, and I'll put the, um, the tab online too. You can just email me for that. So fourth fret, fifth string, open fourth string, right to your C on the fifth fret. 
So here's what it sounds like when you put those two parts together. And I am noticing that when I do that, that's the minor third, and I like to pull it up a little bit, kind of play with that minor third, major third thing. I don't get all the way to the major third, but I kind of just, I just kind of hint towards it. That's the beauty of dobro, that you can play these in-between notes. Um, all right, so, so this is basically what I play under the verse. Uh, I could understand if you're afraid to dance, darling, you got two left feet. Karaoke is not your thing. Oh. Yeah, so there, when we're getting ready to go to the next section, I go from a C down to a C7. So my favorite way to play C7 is just go to that fifth fret where you have your C and play it maybe on the third string and then just go down two frets. And that's your seventh of the chord. So I'm actually taking the bottom four strings all together and doing that movement down two frets. All right, so that's the C7. You can also just go, you can also just grab the seventh note because people kind of hear what chord you're still on. Um, and then to transition at the end of the verse, we're gonna do a four chord, which is right at the 10th fret. That's the F. Again, I'm really sticking to the bottom four strings because I'm just leaving room for the vocal. So it's C, C7, F, and then the most fun part of the whole shebang is woo, a slant to get that that four minor chord. So it's an F minor. You're going from F to F minor, and it's so fun. And this is kind of a really easy thing to do. So it takes a little practice to do slants, but basically you're gonna go 10th fret on the third string and the fifth string, and you're just gonna flat that third. So that one down there, you're just gonna go down one fret, but keep the other, keep the third string at the 10th fret. Oh, it's so fun. That change is just, it makes me so happy. <laughs> so um, you still have your root there. That's that F right at the 10th fret, third string. And down here is your, your on your fifth string, that's your the third of your chord and you're just gonna flatten it. So going from 10 and 10 to nine and 10, pretty cool. And uh, I should do a little close-up of this. Maybe I'll edit that in later. Because you want to keep your, your hand pretty relaxed to do slants. And you're just kind of letting it swing backwards like that. All right, so. Then it just goes C, G, C. All right, cool. So we have the verse. We're gonna move on now to the B section of this song. And it does have some more chords than we're used to playing, but it's, they're all super easy, so don't even worry about it. So I think there's five chords all together. It sounds complicated, but you'll see. It's gonna be easy. So the, um, the B section starts on that four chord, which is the F at the 10th fret. And I tend to just play an F. I pull it back so the top two strings are muted. I don't really, I want kind of a, a lower sounding uh, four chord. I don't know why they call the falling. Back to the C. And then G, which is open, so well, you got one for nothing. If you got someone to hold on to. Back to the C and C7. Four chord again. Oh baby, quit your stalling. Now here's the new chord, it's an A. It's really, it's just the second fret, and it's not an A minor. Um, this is just a major six chord. So you're doing that A on the second fret, bottom four strings straight across, and then the same thing at the seventh fret, we're gonna do a D chord for, um, that's a two major chord, and then finish it up with a G and a G7. 
the way you play the G7 is much like the C7. So you're just going to go from the G down to frets. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the G that is on the fourth string. And I'm tipping my bar up so I can get the low G and the one that's on the fourth string. And then I'm just going down two frets. All right, so it's not a full chord, but it just sounds it's enough to sound like what I need it to sound like. <laughs> so let me play that B section for you. I don't know why they call it falling. You can put in a lick there if you want to. You don't have to. I don't know why they call it falling. If you got someone. Fall in love with me and I will fall in love with you. There's that G. I take the lead when we go dancing. And then we're right back to our little cowboy um, bass line. So if you practice this a bunch, the thing is, you want to get the rhythm really, really ingrained and just like really internalized so that you can break away from it. You might notice I didn't play that bass line completely underneath my vocal. Sometimes I break away and it's the same thing in the solo section. So you might think like, how can you do a solo? No one's playing chords. But if the beat keeps going, you, you can do it. You can totally do it. You just have to keep that in your mind. So here's what I do in the solo section and it's kind of different every time. But here's the idea is that I'm playing around with this C minor major pentatonic position at the fifth fret and that will be a whole nother video but i just want you to get the concept right now so i may start with the bass line but i break off so i'm playing i'm playing both parts at once kind of what I play and I don't have to fill up the whole space there it's really just about keeping that rhythm going um, let me show you another example and I I was just thinking for a minute what are the beats of the measure that I tend to break off because it's nice to get kind of a pattern in your head and then you can break it later, but it's nice to have something to fall back on. So usually what I do, I think, is I play the bass line. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Da, 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 one, two. So it's kind of the two, three, and four of every other measure that I'm filling in with something. And I can do that vocally or I could do that on the dobro and just kind of keep it free. So let's see if that's really what I do. <laughs> uh, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'll play the totally wrong note um, there. I meant to play a C and I ended up playing an A, which is not even in the C chord. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter if I keep the rhythm going. That's the thing. Keep the rhythm going. Try not to make a face that shows that I messed up and just keep it playful. So I hope you've had fun with Don't Be Afraid of Love, this song. And I hope you go watch the other video to see the full length version. I think I've gotten better at songs since I've recorded that, but whatever, it's all good. It's always different. Um, and if you wanna hear uh, that song and all the other songs from this record, the record was called Wishes on a Neon Sign. I'm doing a full album live stream here at my house. Um, it's just gonna be dobro, vocals, and bass. So the whole record start to finish. I hope you can tune in it's on May 22nd. 
um, of 2021. I don't know how long this video will be up, but <laughs> uh, that video will be live streamed and then also available on the channel. So I hope you can tune in. I'm sure to make tons of mistakes and recover from them and uh, have a good time. So I think you'll probably learn a lot from it also. Uh, what else did I want to tell you guys? Thank you for tuning into my channel. I hope you subscribe and there's some sort of thing, bell thing down there that um, can help you know when I put up new videos. So I'm going to try to make a lot of videos for you and uh, keep playing the dobro. It's so fun and it's the best thing to play. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time.